Hey guys, I've got a treat of a video for you today. I think I have made my best pickup I have ever made. And you know that I like to buy big bundles and then break them down and sell the bits off individually to maximize profit? Well, I found a cracker of a Trackmaster bundle. I paid £80 for it and with a bit of luck, we might get back about £400 profit. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's cracking? Ian, the master of pieces here. I'm a part-time eBay reseller and I have got a cracker of a video for you today. I think I have made my best ever pickup. And yeah, it's Trackmaster. Ages ago when I first started reselling, I was like, oh, Trackmaster, don't like it. But I cannot get enough of the Trackmaster trains at the minute. And I've picked up, it must be 35 trains plus some other bits and pieces for about 80 pounds and I reckon we could be looking at 400 maybe 500 pounds profit 500 is probably pushing it a bit much 400 pounds But that is a good return for me and I'm going to run you through that later on in the video But first I want to take you through the sales for today. But don't worry. There aren't too many so it won't take too long I sold a sterling silver necklace this morning for 18 pounds plus postage but I was already going to the post office in the afternoon, so I just packaged it up and posted it off. So I haven't got that to show you. But I also sold a bit of Warhammer. And it's this guy here. He is an old school Warhammer 40k figure. He's from Eldar. I can't remember his name. But um, yeah, I can't. He, this was always, when I was growing up, quite an iconic one and a nice one to have. It was a really good one to paint. And the guy's done a real good job here painting it. And it was up for £15. I had a few watches on it, but never really had any offers. I dropped it down to £10. Someone offered me £3 this morning. I was like, oh, come on, man. No, you're joking. It's worth more than that. But someone then this afternoon offered me £9. So I accepted it without really looking who it was. I saw the name and they had zero feedback. And I was like, oh, God. Someone's only offered me three pounds. Is anyone actually going to deliver on nine pounds? And fair play, they did. And this is going off to France in the global shipping program. And I've sold a fair bit of Warhammer over to France. So I'd recommend putting all your Warhammer on global shipping um, because you never know who is going to buy it. So I had those two sales today, the necklace and this. So you're looking just over 20 pounds uh, into my PayPal account, which is great. I didn't do a video yesterday, but I actually sold some Hot Wheels cars and that doesn't happen often. I sold seven Hot Wheels cars for £13. So I paid a pound each for those Hot Wheels cars so I'm not making massive money but at the minute I'm just glad to see them gone. And if you want to see what the Hot Wheels cars were like, um, I've started up an Instagram page and I took a picture so you can go on there and have a look at them. Um, so yeah, disappointing Monday, pretty decent Tuesday but the pickup is what has made the start of the week. Oh, I am so excited about it. So let me run you through it now. And check out all of this Trackmaster. What we've got here is two big boxes full of trains and then two boxes full of carriages and wagons. And this was listed up on Facebook Marketplace for £150. But the listing also had loads and loads of track and other big plasticky bits like the sheds and turntables, which I've sold before and there is a bit of money in it, but I didn't really fancy it. So I messaged the seller and said, would you consider just selling the trains and the wagons? And she said yes, but you'll have to give me uh, a price for it. So I thought, okay, she's selling the whole bundle for 150 50. I've got to the point now where I can look at some of these trains just by eye and I know roughly what they'll sell so I said right uh, would you take 80 and she said yes and you know what I am so pleased with it because I think there is a fair bit of money in here so let me take you through all the trains and how much I think they're going to be worth so let's just get rid of these wagons here we'll stick them oh yep yeah, one off the back we'll stick them down on the floor there now, I've got two boxes of trains and the reasons I've, I've split them into two boxes is because I've put batteries in those ones there and they all work. 
I put batteries in those ones there and they don't work. And the majority of those there have got battery acid leakage. Dreaded battery acid. But I can clean those up and I can fix them. And all of those, I, well, I hope all of those will be working. If, if I lose one or two, doesn't really matter. But I, I'm pretty confident I can fix all of those. So let me run you through some of these ones first. So these ones are definite sellers. These ones will be listed. And... This one is called Victor first, and he sells for about £10. We also have, this one's pretty cool, Stafford, 10 to £15 that one goes for. And this will have postage included on top of that as well. We have got Toby here, and in the carriages, I've got a couple of carriages which do go with him, and this one will probably go for about £10 as well. What you do find with Trackmaster guys is remember they are children's toys so you do get lots of stickers and pen and stuff on them so I clean all of that off before I um, sell them. We have got, who's this one again, Diesel 10 is he called? If, if, you, if you can't remember what they're called they've always got, well most of them have got the name on the bottom. If not, stick them in Google. You can either use the number on the side of the train or just describe them and you'll usually find them. This one will go for £10 as well. So you're kind of seeing a theme here, guys. Most of these go for minimum £10. This Salty, this one's called Salty there, he's got a carriage attached to him there. And um, what this one does is this one talks. So this one's worth a bit more. That one's worth about 15 We have got, who should we go for next? One of my favourites, Diesel. Look at his face there. And that is an easy £10 there with good old Diesel. And we got two Diesels. So another Diesel there. That one's £10 as well. This is a neat one. This one's called Hero. And I've got a tender that goes on the back in, in that uh, box of carriages. This one doesn't go for as much. This will go for £8. Still pretty decent. This one is called Molly, and this has a truck or a tender that goes on the back, and that's what powers it along. This one goes for £15, this Molly. This diesel car, I cannot remember the name of him. Oh, nightmare. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to take off the stickers there. This one will go for £10. Classic Thomas the Tank. Here he is. Now Thomas on his own doesn't go for much at all. Most Trackmaster sets you buy new have a Thomas the Tank or a Percy with them. But if you've got the carriages, Annie and Clarabelle, you can bundle Thomas up with the two carriages and they'll go for about £10. One thing to watch guys with your Trackmaster, see these side rods here? Quite often they get snapped off. So he's only got one side rod which is going to hamper the price of him so that's just a little tip with your track master guys there's the back end of that molly that one goes there this is an absolute beauty this one's called caitlin and this one had a bit of acid damage and i've i and i've already repaired repaired it this one will go for 20 pounds and i've got the tender box on the back the stickers are peeling off of the tender box, so that might hamper the price. And again, that, that is one thing to watch, guys. These do have stickers on them, and because they are toys, they do get played with. Those stickers do peel off, and that does uh, impact the price. But a good condition, Caitlin, will go for £20. And the pick of the bunch, let's go for him. Connor. This little beauty will sell for £30. 3 0 £30. I've got the tender box as well. People often pair Connor and Caitlin together for £50. Who knows? Maybe I'll do that. Unreal. Who else have we got here? We've got another green salty. A green variant. £10. Another Thomas. Not worth too much on, on his own. No, is that Thomas? No, I tell a lie. That is not Thomas. And the reason I can tell that's not Thomas is because he's got four wheels on the side. And you can see there he's got 
that that's what it should look like there's a side rod there just connecting the back to this one i guess is edward yep there he is edward and i've got his tender in um, the box the old school edwards i've sold for 20 pounds and when i say old school if you look at this salty here the train and the tender are collected by um a wire in there they're, they're, they're the older ones. This one isn't connected like that. The battery sits inside of this train and it pulls along the tender carriage. This will go for about £10. And we got another Edward. Cool £10. Here's the other Thomas. This is what I was looking at. There he is there. No side rods on him. Um, what I might do is to, to sell Thomas on his own, I might bundle in loads and loads of um wagons or loads and loads of trucks and people might just you know buy it as one bundle who else we got this is a beauty ferdinand let's just check that again ferdinand on the bottom look at his face <laughs> ferdinand will sell for 15 pounds incredible we got a little luke there he is pretty decent condition this one will go for 10 pounds He's got a bit of a scratch there. Or well, maybe that's just a sticker that's put in there. I can scrub that off. Hey, I've got a... Perhaps I've added a couple of quid onto the value there. Ten quid, eh? Yep. This is James. James has got a tender. Um, but James will only go for about seven pounds. We've got a Rusty. Rusty will be a solid ten pounds, I think. And two more to go. Let me just show you them in the box. You've got Percy down here. Percy, or oh, is that Percy, or oh, is that Henry? Have I got that wrong? That is Henry. God, I'm not, not having much luck here. Henry has got a tender on, on the back, and Henry goes for about £10. This is another thing to watch out with your Trackmaster, guys. You can see his side rods there. They're all a bit bent. Now, what I do is just, so they should be straight like that. What I do is describe that in the um, listing, and usually that doesn't affect the price too much. And the final one is in pretty poor condition, but this is Charlie. Stickers are all faded. I, I struggle to get a fiver for that one. If that was um, all nice, maybe m maybe ten pounds. So what I will do, guys, and I do it with all my Trackmaster stuff, is I obviously check the sold listings. Some of those might be worth fifteen pounds. Um, yeah, I don't know, but there is at least wow. How many have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. There's at least 220 quid's worth of Trackmaster trains there. Now, what we'll do is just go on to the broken ones. And these ones, what I do is I strip them apart and I use white vinegar to clean the contacts. And I go through and clean all the metal bits which have got battery acid on. And that usually takes it off. And these are pretty hardy. These have been absolutely ragged. And um, yeah, they, they still work. So we've got some real nice ones here, and I do just hope that I can fix them. Um, be, I mean, if, if I can't, it's, it, it isn't the end of the world. I mean, this one's a beauty. This one's called Duck, and this one's worth £20. So that has got to be worth have, 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 having a crack, that one. There you are. There's, is that, who's that? Is that Edward? No, that's Gordon. With the There's the old school Gordon. He'd be worth 12 quid. Yeah, some real nice trains in there. And then there's all the, um, yeah, there's all the carriages there. So a really, really nice pickup. I am so chuffed with this. I am loving Trackmaster. So like I said, with those broken Trackmaster trains, I will have a good crack at fixing them. And I've bought some new tools for them. So I've got these thin screwdrivers here because some of the screws are recessed quite deep. So these will make sure that I can get in and unscrew them all. And most of the modern Trackmaster trains, to get into the uh, motor, you need to have some triangle head screwdriver bits. If you can see that there. So pick some of them up. I've already repaired three of them just by um, scrubbing off all of the old battery acid using white vinegar. And it's, it's almost like giving trains CPR, you know, and bringing them back to life. And whenever you put them batteries back in, turn them on and the wheels turn, it is awesome. It's so good. But hey, it wasn't just Trackmaster in that bundle. There's a few more bits too. 
So I've seen these for sale on Facebook Marketplace loads. There's always listings with these up. And I've, I've checked a few eBay sold listings and they don't go for mega amounts of money, but they were all part of that Trackmaster bundle. So this is low risk. You know, I'm, I'm going to make all my profit on the Trackmaster and anything that these sell for will be a bonus. But actually, I have, te I have tried a few through sold listings. Some of the more kind of niche ones, the not so common. Connor, here he is, the £30 Trackmaster. He's worth six quid plus postage. Um, what I should say first is what you'll notice is all of these have got magnets on the front. And this is a type of toy called Take Along. And you can tell that it's got a square magnet on the front there. The more recent ones are called Take and Play. And those are like this diesel here. He's got a round magnet. So the square ones are called take along and I think they're worth a bit more. So yeah, looked up Connor, he's six quid. This little guy here, a bit like the, some of the older track masters, he's got the name on the bottom. He's called Kelly. He's from 2009, I think. That one's worth about four pounds. Um, so yeah, I've what I will do is have a look at sold listings. You know, oh, is that. There's that one there. We saw him, Stafford, the Trackmaster one there. Yeah, I, I will have a look on sold list and see which ones are worth selling individually. There you are, this diesel there, that's worth about a fiver. Um, and the ones that aren't worth too much, I'll just stick in a bundle and um, see what we get. I think what you've got to be careful with selling these um, die cast ones is the quality of the paintwork. So, who's this one here? Is that, is that Stanley? Yeah, there's Stanley there. Um, you can see, look at the paintwork there, it's all absolutely battered. So I don't think he's going to be worth much. If you're a collector and you want to display these on, on, on your shelf, you're not going to want one in that condition. Um, so yeah, let's see how, how it goes. And I am looking forward to learning about this type of Thomas the Tank train. Um, yeah, this, this type of toy, because like I said, I see them all the time. So Ian, the track master of pieces is back and I'm so chuffed and I'm looking forward to getting all those listed on eBay and showing you them in my future sales videos. So guys, if you like the video, click like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll catch up with you when I made a few more sales or have a few more pickups. See you then, bye.